It's got all the features of the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, but it's smaller. It's the 9.7 inch iPad Pro. We've got it and we're tearing it down. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and before we even got the new iPad Pro out of the box, our eye openers were already hot. We've taken plenty of iPads apart before and know the drill. Apply heat, gentle prying, and off comes the display. We never know where to expect to find cables in a new iPad, so every edge takes some care and patience to make sure we don't damage any of the delicate cables. Of course, if Apple published repair manuals, we wouldn't have to worry about it. But in this case, they're in the bottom right corner. This display is a fully laminated 9.7 inch LED backlit oxide TFT True Tone display and like its big brother supports the Apple Pencil. After removing the exceptionally large EMI shield that is similar to the one we saw in the 12.9 inch iPad Pro and isolating the battery to prevent any accidental discharge, we got to work on the speakers. Just like the 12.9 inch version, this iPad Pro has four speakers. The upper ones were fiercely glued and screwed in place and connect to the logic board via spring contacts. This iPad Pro has a nice new camera and a big ol' bump to go with it. This is the same 12 megapixel 4K capable optically stabilized camera that we saw in the iPhone 6S Plus, and a substantial upgrade from the larger iPad Pro we tore down in November. The logic board came out next, and unfortunately, it looks like the lightning connector and audio and front-facing camera cables are both soldered on. The iPad Pro comes with Apple's top-of-the-line 64-bit A9X processor and 2 gigabytes of RAM. If you're looking to see more about all the chips we've identified, you can find it on the teardown at ifixit.com. Lastly, we turn our attention to the battery, and we're hoping to find those nifty pull tabs we found in the 12.9-inch iPad Pro, but no such luck. What the battery does have is a rating of 3.82 volt, 27.91 watt hour, and 7,306 milliamp hour, amounting to a 10 hour battery life claim. We've come to the end of our teardown and now we turn our thoughts towards repairability. How did the 9.7 inch iPad Pro score? It got a two out of 10 and here's why. While not soldered in place, the battery is very solidly adhered. No more pull tabs like we saw in the larger iPad Pro 12.9 inch. The smart connector port is virtually impossible to replace, but incorporates no moving parts and is unlikely to fail. The LCD and front panel glass are fused together. This slightly simplifies the opening procedure. But on the downside, the fused front panel increases the cost of screen repair and the risk of damaging the LCD when opening. And finally, gobs of adhesive hold everything in place, making all repairs more difficult. And that's our teardown. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful, high-quality images, including some awesome x-rays from Creative Electron, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com ifixit.